Debian and Ubuntu environments can automatically get Grafana in two ways. First, the most straightforward is to use an APT repository. This has some advantages like easy updates. But before we run the installation command, we may need some prerequisites, keys, repos, and other things. We will be getting all the commands from the Grafana installation page. Link in the video description for easy copy and paste. So, to start gathering items, in your Debian or Ubuntu command line, you must first get all the needed packages, copying and pasting the first command in the page. sudo apt-get install, that's why apt transport https software properties common and wget. This step takes a bit as it downloads several things, but after it, we must import the gpg key copying the next command. It is a long command with a lot of things, first with a sudo mkgir to create the directory, then a wget to get all the files needed, and then to put them in the right location. The next step is to add repos or stable or beta releases. I want a stable, so let's copy this one echo with all the information inside, then we can put it in a list. Next, we need to update the packages with sudo apt get update. After you execute this command, this one can also take a little bit if your packages were out of date. And well, after the updates are done, if any, we can finally run the installation by executing sudo apt-get install grafana that will install the OSS release. If you want the enterprise release, just add dash enterprise at the end like in the download page. After the process downloads a few things, shows some messages about the installation and some prompts, the system will show some commands to run grafana server to start grafana or to configure it to run automatically. I want just to start it, so let's use this command sudo bin systemctl start Start Grafana dash server. We just have to wait a second, then we can go to our browser and access localhost 3000 to see our Grafana environment starting. Very straightforward, right? Now, we just have to use our old admin admin user and password to do any initial steps. Now, if you want to install it by downloading a dev package, you can easily do it by accessing the download page and selecting the version, uh, enterprise or OSS, and if you have an ARM or AMD processor. The most common is AMD and only says Linux. Here first, as the command says, we need to make sure that we have all the dependencies by running sudo apt-get install dash y at user libconfig1 and musl. Next, after this executes, we must download the dev file. To get it, we will copy and paste from the Ubuntu and Debian section as well, well for AMD, which is the one that we are running. We paste the wget command with all the URL and the download will start. Now that we have the indicated dev file, we can execute it to install Grafana by copying and pasting sudo dpkg-i Grafana Enterprise with the version. And now that we have the indicated dev file, we can execute it to install Grafana by copying and pasting the sudo dpkg command and run it. Make sure that the command has the same file name as the one that was just downloaded in the previous step. Then after some downloading progress and prompts, we can use the commands displayed to configure the Grafana service to start automatically or just start it once. And that's what I want to do. So let's copy this command, sudo bin systemctl start Grafana server. And nice, this will start Grafana. We can now open a browser with localhost 3000 and we will see Grafana running. We have just to type our admin admin and user and password and we will be ready to play in Debian or Ubuntu.